raspy metallic note from the exhaust is clue to the character of the John Cooper works. This is the most powerful and fastest Mini ever produced with 231 bhp. But John Cooper works have always been known for their harshness and they're best suited to the racetrack. So while this is a more powerful version, is it any more comfortable or more usable? The John Cooper works name is steeped in racing history and this Mini is about one thing and one thing only, speed. Think of it as a Mini on steroids. Based on the three-door hatch, Mini has completely retuned the suspension and used aluminium and high-strength steel to keep the weight down. Special extras include the tailgate with the John Cooper Works label, sports exhaust system with special tailpipes, and an exclusive new rebel green body paint finish. There are exclusive sport seats and overall the interior is a lot more premium and the quality is excellent. The interior trim in piano black is particularly appealing, but ergonomics are never a strong point with Mini and it's all a little cluttered. First thing you notice about this car is just how responsive everything is. From the steering to the brakes, it's all super sensitive and really, really responsive. The second thing is that noise that sounds so good outside of the car sounds just as good inside. Under the bonnet is a 2-litre, 4-cylinder turbocharged engine that produces 231 bhp and 320 newton metres of torque. Now, this is actually 10% more power than the previous John Cooper works and almost 25% more torque. It is also ferociously fast. It goes from 0 to 100 in just over 6 seconds and that again is 0.2 seconds faster than the previous version. But all of these are just hard facts about the car and they don't capture just how much fun it is to drive. As you'd expect from a John Cooper Works, the grip is absolutely phenomenal. It just glues you to the road. It's also much less harsh than it was before. Now, on uneven surfaces, you will feel it, but it's an awful lot more comfortable and it is just so much fun to drive. Reassuringly, there's also a host of safety features to keep you on the road and out of the ditches. In addition, there is an optional driving assistant pack, which was recently awarded an advanced safety award by Euro NCAP. It works by a front-mounted camera that monitors the road ahead to give information about possible collisions, along with pedestrian recognition, traffic sign recognition and active cruise control. So how much does all this fun cost? Well, the basic price of this car is 36180 but Mini have thrown a host of extras at our press car, so it now brings the price to 48000 At this price range, it's now competing directly with the likes of Volkswagen's Golf or, or the Honda Civic Type or, so it's a lot of money to spend on a Mini. In terms of running costs, Mini reckon you'll do 5.7 litres per 100 or just under 50 miles to the gallon, but trust me, you won't get anywhere near those figures. In terms of CO2 emissions, it's 135 grams, so you're going to be paying about 280 for motor tax a year. Mini have produced the best John Cooper works to date, and it's an incredibly well-balanced car. It's not nearly as hardcore as the GP, and yet it is so much more fun than the regular Mini Cooper. And yes, at 48,000, which you will pay for this car with all of the extras, there are far more practical cars, and there are certainly faster cars for the money, but there's very few that are quite as much fun to drive. Geraldine Herbert for independent.ie.